All right, so here we are, man, the annual video, the speaking case lineup review for the new iPhone. Probably one of my longest videos of the year when it comes to this time, man. But yeah, here it is, man, speaking of case lineup. Now, it's, no, it's not the full lineup. We are missing one, and we'll kind of get into that. We are missing the Neo Hybrid. All right, let's just go ahead and put it out there. We don't have the Neo Hybrid here, but it's coming. They have an all new redesign, so I'm dope to see that one. And when I get that case in, I'll do a standalone review of it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into what we got. And let me see you what's up, man. We got the Mag Armor, the Ultra Hybrid, Hybrid Mag. We got the Thin Fit, Slim Armor CS, Liquid Air, Tough Armor, Rugged Armor, Ultra Hybrid S. So you already know what it is, man. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the thinnest protection, and then we're gonna go to the heavy dutyest protection and we'll do it like that let's try to get to this video as fast as possible and not let it be 20 minutes long all right first up here it is this is going to be the thin fit so let's go ahead and jump into the case now a lot of these cases i've already opened up in the quest to try to find the case that i'm going to be personally using on my phone so let's go ahead and get into it here's going to be the thin fit and right off the hand i always say speaking if you're watching this video can we can we still get the option to go to the old school thin fit all right I, i'm still personally do it for your boy technically t edition i don't know but i want to see the old school thin fit but thin fit has a different design these days and it's been this design for a little bit of while and you see you get the full coverage going around so when it comes to the buttons raise volume up volume down they do have those cutouts so it does have kind of like air cushion under it so that's how it is there accurate cutouts on the bottom raise volume up button there on the back you got kind of like a rubberyish feel material so it's not really that you know it's a nice rubbery material it feels pretty good camera raised there and on the very edges of it you do have like tpu and that plastic that's like rubber so very nice material that it's made out of so let's go ahead and grab the 13 pro max i still want to say 12 pro max for some reason and here it is on the gold 13 pro max so let's go ahead and check out the buttons volume up volume down feels very good mute toggle switch not that difficult to get to flipping it over on the bottom as you can see everything is spot on and cut out power button also nice and tactile flipping over to that camera that camera is recessed even with that it is still in there and it's good to go now next up let's take out the lay on tail protection i am rocking speaking's tempered glass screen protector and it does have a little faint lip that goes all the way around it but it's just enough to if you put it face down it's not going to be bothering the phone itself so that's good to go there drop protection and eh, you know this is a thin fit so that kind of says enough when it comes to drop protection so it does have a little lip not nothing that's just overly overly big for drop protection next up how does it fit on the phone now when it comes to the button size they are going to be a little loose all right that's just what it is when it comes to a lot of cases but the rest of the case fits snug going down very snug all the way down let's go to the top top gives a little bit more than the size but it also still is snug for the most part but when it comes to this bottom i that's a little bit droopy you know i mean this is a, a critical area to me when it comes to cases and that little droopy ah you know it's not bad i don't feel like it's going to get loose and get saggy over time but it's something i gotta note when it comes to the to the bottom down there i know a lot of people care about that part so it is a little bit droopy but overall pretty solid fit where it's not going to come off easy once it's on and it's still fairly easy to get off just peel it off and you have it right there and how does it feel in your hand it feels good it definitely gives the phone grip which is good because we know these new iphones are just incredibly slippery always has been but it does give it a little bit more grip and that's good to go doesn't add too much bulk to the phone now bring it over on the magsafe let me see if it works with the magsafe it kind of then no it actually doesn't this is not going to be one of their magsafe cases now it works for wireless charging as you can see with magsafe it is going to struggle i'm pretty sure you may be able to find the perfect angle just like i did right there to do the magsafe but it's not like has any magnets in there or anything like that so here it is this is going to be the speaking thin fit next up let's go ahead and get into another classic and that's going to be the liquid air so let's put this down here Trying to be a little bit organized doing my reviews because usually I just throw mess all over the place. But let's go ahead and take a look, look at the Liquid Air, man. This is that classic design that we've always known when it comes to the Liquid Air. You get that patented material on the back, that design on the back. Same buttons, basically. Volume up, volume down, cut out there. You got your raised power button flipping over on the bottom. You got those accurate cutouts. Flipping it over on the back, as always, you got that big speaker cutout, which is also raised. And on the inside, you get that classic... Uh, 
thin uh, liquid air, about to say thin feet. You get that classic liquid air on the bottom as well. This one's gonna be more of a flexible material. So this is kind of like an all, you know, hard rubber to style case. And on the sides here, you get a little bit of speaking branding there, but you also get some little ridges. It's gonna help a little bit when it comes to the grip. So let's pop it in here and let's go ahead and take a look. So here it is. This is gonna be the liquid air gold 13 pro max let's go ahead and take a look at the buttons buttons are going to be good that's just what it is when it comes to these speaking cases i've never had an issue with their buttons the cutouts are just fine there power button feels good camera cut out spot on no issues when it comes to that now how does it fit on the phone let's see if it has a snug enough fit so you can get it off definitely easy let's start off with the top mm. Not too loose, but it is a little bit looser than a little bit more. Uh, other cases, you can, you know, the liquid air, you can kind of pull the sides a little bit. It's, uh, it kind of gives a little bit, but this isn't going to give over time. And let's go down to the bottom. Definitely more snug than a thin fit, but still just gives you a little bit of that droop. So it's not the most tight fitting case, but it's also not the most loose fitting case either. I think it'll be just fine. It, it, it's good enough. I'm not going to hit it too much. It, it it has it's right at threshold where I will still want a little bit tighter, but it's not too bad. How does it feel in your hand? It definitely feels pretty good in your hand, similar to the thin fit, except you have a little bit more material. You definitely have more grip when it comes to the side. Can it give you these little slits? That's going to really help your hand when it comes to the grip part of this case. So that's always a plus. Let's drop it down on while it's charging. Let's see it uh, works with it. Well, you know, it's not a MagSafe case, but you can get it to line up with MagSafe. But other than that, let's go ahead and reset it and let's drop it back down and let's see if it works with uh, wireless charging. And I know, I'm pretty sure it does. So it, it's still popping up MagSafe, but that's just because this is not like a pad. This is like a MagSafe. So it does work just fine with wireless charging, but it's not going to be one of those MagSafe compatible cases with the magnet inside. So here it is. This is going to be the liquid air. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the Mag Armor. Now this one is going to be MagSafe compatible because it says Mag Armor and it has the MagSafe compatible little sticker right there. So the label, not a sticker, but it has that label right here. So let's go ahead and get into this. Now I'm pretty curious because I've never messed with a Mag Armor. I've seen it in different places. I've seen it in Best Buy. You can kind of see the magnets right here in the back. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So first thing you see right here is going to be that kind of plate right there. And I'm assuming that's what's going to be able to hold those magnets in there. And it's standard protocol when it comes to the buttons. Same exact buttons and cut out just like the Liquid Air. A little different design when it comes to the sides here. They got a little different kind of thing going on there. On the back, you get this little pattern as well with that little bit of speaking branding down there. So let's go ahead and pop it on. And there it is. This is gonna be the mag armor. So let's go ahead and take a look at the buttons. Buttons are good, power button. We don't even have to talk about the buttons and the cutout when it comes to speaking. Those things are always gonna be on point. When you're talking about that camera also, it is raised, so you're good to go when we're talking about raising that camera. Let's take a look at that lay on the table protection. As you know, with that tempered glass screen protector, it does have a slight lip that goes around. And I actually forgot to talk about this with the previous case on the liquid air. Similar lay on the table protection when it comes to that case as well. But little lip, so it's good when you put it face down. Not anything that's gonna be heavy duty drop protection here. How does it fit on the phone? It has one of the more lax fits when it comes to speaking, so it's going to give just a little bit. But once again, um, if you like a case to fit a little bit thinner, I definitely understand. I like snug fitting cases, but it's not a terrible fitting case. So you got to know on the sides, it will be given a little bit when it comes to the bottom. It has that same kind of just like this, like the liquid air. This is very, really, very comparable to the liquid air. So it will have a little bit of give. How does it feel in your hand? Definitely feels pretty good. Definitely can tell you have a case up here. Keeps the phone fairly thin, but definitely gives you a lot of grip, especially when it comes to the sides being like more of a matte texture material. Definitely does a pretty good job with the grip. Now this time, we should see it go right to MagSafe, and we do. So this is definitely gonna be that MagSafe compatible because the name is Mag Armor. Now how strong is the magnet? A strong magnet can pick this block up with the wireless charger and it's barely doing anything so and y'all know if you guys hear my son yelling in the background <laughs> but it is magsafe compatible so it works just fine so here it is this is going to be the speaking mag armor next up speaking rugged armor now, this is going to be very similar kind of to the mag armor kind of to the to the um 
liquid air, kind of same type vibe. But this one, they took it back with the cutout on the back. I think they always had that. I think one year, that looks weird, but <laughs> I think one year they did without this. So let's go ahead and look at it. Things are a little bit different when it comes to the buttons. Just to note, I think these buttons are similar to the thin fit buttons where you got that air button there. You got that cutout for your mute toggle, cutouts on the bottom, raise volume up and down, raise the power button, raise camera hump. On the back, you have that type of material when it comes near to the camera, but you get that cut out for your Apple logo and that speaking branding right there. More of a flexible material as well, just like the Mag Armor kinda, just like the Liquid Air. So let's pop it on and see what it looks like. There's usually hardly a big difference between this and the Liquid Air, except this one does have a different design on the back and you can see your Apple logo buttons. All work good, no issues there when it comes to it. The cutouts are good as well, no issues there camera is protected when we're talking about that uh lay on the tail protection <laughs> lay on the tail protection similar to the rest you know what i mean you still have that screen protector so you do get that little lip that goes around it not anything crazy once again we're not into the heavy duty drop protection yet we come in there we come in but it definitely will lay on the ground and you already have no issues with it how does it fit on the phone? You already know one of the most important things. This fits a little bit more snug than the previous cases, the Liquid Air and the Mag Armor. These fit a little bit more snug. So when you go around to the sides, you know, it pulls, but you, you got to require a little bit more to pull that. Top, nice and snug. Coming down the sides, snug as well. Getting down to that bottom, very snug, nice. It, I have to really flick it out a little bit. So this actually feels very good and this actually does have a better fit than I think the previous two that I have done. And how does it feel in your hands? Feels good. This also has the same ridges as the liquid air. So when you're holding it, it's definitely gonna give you that nice level of grip. So you definitely should be good there to go. And uh, it doesn't add too much bulk. These last few cases have all been pretty similar when we are talking about slimness in the profile. Now, no, this is not MagSafe compatible, but it works with the MagSafe and it works with wireless charging. So you'll be good to go. Don't rely on MagSafe with the speaking cases that's not MagSafe compatible. Regular wireless charging will be just fine. But here it is. This is gonna be the rugged armor from speaking. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at some clear case options, man. And that's gonna be the Ultra Hybrid S. So this is gonna be the Ultra Hybrid with just a kickstand on it. Now we're gonna probably run through these next two pretty quick because there isn't that much of a big difference between the one that is has a kickstand and the one that has the MagSafe, all right? So let's go ahead and pull the peel tabs off here. All right, boom, so here it is, man. So if you guys got that Sierra Blue, if you wanna show off the color of that new phone and let people know you got the new iPhone, the Ultra Hybrid is always gonna be the way to go in that case, man. Every time somebody recommends and they want a clear case, the Ultra Hybrid is exactly where I steer them because these are some of my favorite cases out there when we're talking about clear cases. So, and one thing to go ahead and note, because I know what tons of you are going to ask in the comment section, will they yellow? Speaking actually has a technology within their cases. I think it's called, I, I, I forgot the name of it. Don't get me lying. Let me look real quick. I don't see it on the packaging, but they have some technology where these do not yellow over time. I'll write the name of it down below if I find it. But yeah, you should be good to go with these, man. They don't really yellow over time. Time will tell. If you guys got them, if you had one in the past, let me know. Let them know down below if they're yellow. So same thing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the buttons. You got your volume up and down, cut out for your mute toggle. And yep, those have the air gaps in between those. You get some speaking branding right there. Cut out the buttons, all of that is good, man. So let's go ahead and slap it on. Boom, all right, so here it is. This is gonna be the Ultra Hybrid S. Very nice, sturdy kickstand. Okay, I see you speaking. So here it is, man. Like I said, if you wanna show off the color of that iPhone, whether you got any color, doesn't matter, you can definitely show it off with this case right here. So let's take out the buttons. Nice and tactile. Power button feel good as well. As you can see, your cutouts are good. Flipping it over on the back camera is good as well now let's go ahead and take a look at this kickstand before i forget about it because your boy will forget about those kickstand but this is actually one of the better kickstands this is a nice sturdy feeling kickstand and it has that magnet right there so nice job speaking this is a very nice kickstand very very sturdy you can pop it up here and you don't got to worry about this thing falling at all and you probably could pop it up like this and you are good to go 
I'm very impressed with this kickstand right here. Very, very nice and sturdy. Highly recommend it. So let's go ahead and take a look at that lay on the table protection. Same lay on table as most. It might have a little bit more lay on the table protection, but you're definitely good if you are to put it face down. You shouldn't have much to worry about. Now, when we're talking about how does it fit on the phone, these ultra hybrids absolutely kill it. Like super snug, man. When you're talking about the top, very, very snug there. Coming along the sides, you're gonna have a little give when it comes to the buttons. Coming along the bottom, very snug. Top, bottom down there, gives a little bit, but overall very, very snug. You can see in my pinky how much force I'm doing it to get it to snug. So excellent, excellent fit when it comes to the Ultra Hybrid S. How does it feel in your hand? It's a clear case. So you know for me, clear cases, are gonna be a tad bit slippery. That's just the nature of what these clear cases are. So it is what it is when it comes to the clear case, you will get a little bit of slipperiness, but it's not terrible. It's just what it comes with the nature of having a clear case. And um, yeah, that's it, man. Does it add too much bulk to it? You know, most of these cases aren't really bulky. And dropping down on wireless charging, it works just fine with wireless charging, AKA MagSafe, but it's not a MagSafe case right here, all right? This is not a MagSafe case. This is gonna be the Ultra Hybrid S from Spigen. And this right here is going to be the Ultra Hybrid Mag. So there literally is no difference between those two cases except the MagSafe, all right? So that's why I'm not really doing like a huge unboxing. I probably won't even go over all the features that this has, but they're literally the same case except this one has your MagSafe on the back. So let's just pop this on. And if I had to rock either one of the two, it'll probably be this one just because I charge only MagSafe. And uh, boom, there's your MagSafe. Works just fine with MagSafe. Not the strongest magnets. We've seen stronger magnets, but it's fine. You don't have to fish around it. It's strong. You can find your MagSafe and go about your business, man. So this one is going to be the Ultra Hybrid Mag for those people who need that MagSafe. But if you don't care for MagSafe and you'd rather have the kickstand, then you can get the Ultra Hybrid S. Either way you go, they definitely got you covered. Next up, let's take a look at the Slim Armor CS. And this is gonna be the case that has the card slot that will hold up to two cards, all right? They always have this case. If you want my people who wanna have an all-in-one case and don't wanna wear nothing separate, then you can definitely rock out with this. Now, this is gonna be a two-part case. There it is, you can see it popping off. You don't have to take it off to install it or do anything like that. And hopefully I got everything pop back in correctly. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is gonna be more of a thick boy. So we get into the thick boys now, but it is, it's a car slot. So of course that's what it's gonna be. Taking a look on the, the left side, we have buttons kind of similar to the liquid air, raised up volume down, cut out for your mute toggle. Your cutouts are good there. Your raised power button there, and you get that raised camera hump there. So let's go ahead and slap the 13 Pro Max in here, and uh, here it is. This is gonna be more of a like a bluish color, as you can see right here, like a metal slate type bluish color. Very nice looking case. Might look dope with the Sierra Blue if that's your flavor. So let's go ahead and take a look at the buttons. Nice and tactile, no issues there. The cutouts on the bottom are good. Power and button, good. Taking a look at the back, you see the camera hump is protected by that little lip right there. Now. How does it do with the lay on the tail protection? This is basically the same as ours. With speaking cases, you're not gonna get a ton of lay on the tail protection, but it's just enough to probably save you if you were to drop it face first very lightly, not anything heavy, you see what I'm saying? So definitely good in that category. Nice little lay on the tail protection. Just a little lip that goes all the way around it. Now, how does it fit on the phone? Fits pretty decent, you know what I mean? The top is very snug. When it comes to the bottom, it's gonna give a little bit, as we to expect. Sides, pretty snug, pretty snug. When it gets to the bottom, fairly snug right there as well. So no bad issues here. And let's go ahead and get into it before we keep going. Let's go ahead and get two, my little four, well three, but let's do two four cards because this can hold up to two cards. So you say you want to go out for the evening, you want to get your, your debit, credit card, your license, that's all you need for the night. You don't got to carry your wallet, man. You got your case with you. So you definitely will be good to go. How does it fit in your hands? It definitely feels like you do have a case up here. It is a little bit more on the thicker side, but it's nothing terrible. It's not anything that's too thick, too unwieldy. You'll be good to go when we're talking about this case. And let's just see if it works with wireless charging, just for giggles, all right? Let's just drop it down and let's see if we can. Now, most times these cases aren't compatible with wireless charging just because of the, the, the design. So as you can see, well, it did activate a little bit right there. So if you pop it down right, I think you can get it to activate, but I really wouldn't depend on that working when we are talking about, you know, 
wireless charging, MagSafe. It might work with wireless charging, and I might need to bring a wireless charger over here, period, and then a MagSafe if it is a MagSafe case. But the these these uh, they usually have a hard time finding the wireless charging coil just because it is a car slot case. So here it is, man. This is going to be the Slim Armor CS for the 13 Pro Max from Spigen. And let's go ahead and get into our last one. Let's go ahead and get into it. Last but not least, the OG, the Tough armor all right this is going to be the heaviest protection that you can get and you can see why because it has that shock absorption material the heaviest protection that you can get for your iphone 13 series and this is going to be a classic tough armor i don't know how long this case has been around but it's one of the case ogs if you can say that so let's go ahead and look around the case man this is going to be a two-part case but you can keep it all popped in you don't have to remove anything to install it so things are a little bit different here when it comes to the mute cutout it's a little different everything is more kind of squared off Volume up and down are going to be flat and recessed. Classic tough armor when it comes to that. When it comes to the bottom, cutouts are accurate. Same thing with the side power button, PWR labeled power. Flipping over on the back, as you see, it's a thicker case, so we don't need as much of a camera hunt, but it is protected. You got that camera cutout, and you do have a kickstand. No, it's nothing like the Ultra Hybrid S kickstand, but nonetheless, it is a kickstand. And on the inside, you're getting that sock absorption material with that neon yellow, neon green, whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and slap it on. And let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy here. So power, volume up and down buttons, I mean. Feels good. You just got to find them. These don't really protrude out. You have to find the buttons. The buttons don't find you. But it's all good. So volume up and down does work fine no issues there take a look at the bottom your cutouts are good to go on the side power button also feels good and that camera you already know is recessed down up in there with that camera with that apple logo recessed down there as well kickstand uh, you know it's not the best you know it has a little bit of wiggle to it it'll hold your stuff up but don't depend on it nothing like the other kickstand all right this the, the, did i break it <laughs> you can hold it just don't get too physical with it. It will hold your stuff up, but it, it, and it pops in, it snaps in, been in place, but it's never been like the most sturdy kickstand. So we just got to keep it real when it comes to that. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at that lay on the table protection as, as well. Being a tough armor, you can look at this and this does have a thicker lip than most of the cases that had it because this is going to be more of a heavy duty ish drop protection. So you'll be good if it did drop down. You shouldn't have too much to worry about when it comes to the lay on the table protection in this case and how does it fit on the phone this case fits absolutely snug easily the tightest fitting case that we've had in the lineup today pulling the sides top barely any give right there you can kind of give it to give but barely much coming down to the sides very very snug getting down here to the bottom very snug as well a1 fit when it comes to the tough armor and how does it feel in your hand um and then, like i say and it's easy to get off even with that snug fit also easy to pop off Feel in your hand definitely feels good. It feels blocky because it, the way it's designed and the edges on this, and then you get that little tough armor branding right there. So overall, definitely feels good. A little bit more heavy duty than most. Dropping it down on wireless charging. I know I just felt the MagSafe magnet kick in, but this is not like MagSafe magnets, but it will pop down and work on your MagSafe charger. So here it is, tough armor for the iPhone. 13 Pro Max, another classic from Spigen. All right, so here are all the cases we got from Spigen, man. Thin fit, liquid air, rugged armor, mag armor, ultra hybrid S, ultra hybrid mag, tough armor, and the slim armor CS. Now you already know the links to each and every one of these will be down below. And I'll try to find them for all of the iPhones. So this can be like a one-stop shop video if you have another iPhone. We also have an iPhone 13. I can also run through the case lineup from that phone as well. I'll do that a little bit later on. But you already know, here they are, man. Another banger from speaking. 27 minutes, maybe 26 minutes. We'll see how fast we got out of here, man. Super long video. I'll be sure to hit the timestamps on it with the markers. As you always know, man, do the YouTube things. Hit that sub, comment down below, hit that like button, turn that bell on so you don't miss out on any videos. Everyone, please be safe. Catch you on the next one. Later.